happy St. Patrick's Day. I wanted to show you a video real quick about how I did a seven day Guinness brined brisket. I got the original recipe from Armadillo Pepper. I'm gonna leave a link to their YouTube page right here. Uh, so thank you guys for putting that up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below. I'll also, in the show more description uh, of this video, I'll put the exact recipe of what I used, guys. Enjoy, please comment, like, subscribe, and join Old Red on this journey of love, family, passion, and barbecue, y'all. Chef always gets the last drop. Welcome back. It's been a full seven days since I last done this Guinness brine. And what we're going to do now is we took it out of the brine. I'm going to rinse it off to get off all that excess salt. I'm going to trim, do a light trim because these are just brisket flats. There doesn't need a whole lot of trim and I want to keep the fat that's on there currently so that I've got a very moist piece of meat during the smoke. And then I'm going to season with salt and pepper only. So let's get to it, guys. <music> So we're looking at about 10 hours for the Guinness brined brisket. Uh, one of them is done. Uh, it was actually closer to the firebox, so that was done. Let's go ahead and check the temp on this last one and also let you take a quick turkey peek of my reel. <laughs> Just got a special delivery, guys. Let's go check it out. Old Chris Capel from Dizzy Pig sent me a gift. And let's take a look what we got, guys. If you guys didn't know, Dizzy Pig is local to Northern Virginia. So I'm super excited that they reached out and wanted me to try some of their stuff. Let's see what they sent.
Bobby, my man, thank you so much for reaching out to me on Facebook, man. I truly appreciate that, dude. Uh, let's take a quick look as to what I got. Got some stickers. We got here. We got ourselves some cow lick, spicy beef rub. We got ourselves some all-purpose barbecue rub, dizzy dust. Wow, look at that. We got a complete line, Red Eye Express. And then we have samplings of everything that they offer. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is, how cool is that, man? Dude, I truly love receiving this kind of stuff. I'm, I'm honored, I'm humbled, I cannot wait to try it. I know Dizzy Pig puts out handcrafted products. They let me know that every single bottle is hand packed. Everything is super fresh. I'm absolutely excited to get this going. I may even do some more barbecue tomorrow. In addition to the 22 pounds finished product weight that I did. So I have basically 55, 56 pounds of, of raw brisket and seven baby back ribs that are almost done. And I got pizza going upstairs, uh, the dough, because this weekend, uh, Lucas is celebrating a birthday on March 17th, which is St. Patrick's Day. And he's invited some friends over this Saturday, which is tonight, to celebrate and sleep over. So everybody, wish Lucas a happy birthday. Shh. Love you guys. Remember, subscribe to this, guys. I love you so much. Red is going to see you in just a minute when we get things all finished up. To you, happy birthday, dear Lucas. Happy birthday to you. Now in Portuguese. Parabéns pra você. Blau, I'm Make a wish. So we just celebrated a wild night for Lucas's uh, ninth birthday party. And it's time to cut open this brisket. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And uh, without further delay, roll the film. It's salty in the best of ways. On the back end, you've got some great flavors of uh, Guinness, but a lot of that onion too. It's so nice. Hey guys, happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you out there. I love you so much. Happy ninth birthday to my boy Lucas. Mmm, much love guys. Cheers, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, subscribe to me, join me on this journey of love, family, passion, and barbecue, and let's roll, guys, together.